Depending on what type of site you have, adding Snapchat to it could be very easy or could be quite difficult. There are so many platforms out there now for creating a website and content management systems like WordPress are not the only players in the DIY world of website creation. In this video, we're going to discuss how you can integrate Snapchat with your website and with your social media. If you have a WordPress website, being able to integrate Snapchat will depend upon the theme that you have. While all of the current themes definitely have places for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and others that are more well known, not many of the themes out there have automatic places where you can put your Snapchat information. However, you can put your Snapchat ID and even your QR code on the sidebar of your WordPress site by using a text widget. If your website is built from scratch with HTML, then you may have to get your web designer to create a place for your Snapchat QR code and for the user information that you want to post on your website. You should definitely put the QR code in the header of your homepage so that people can easily take a picture of it and try to follow you on Snapchat whenever they visit your website. Integrating your Snapchat into your social media is going to take some creativity on your part. There really isn't any place that you can post your QR code and Snapchat information on Twitter. The only thing that you could do is replace your profile picture with your QR code, but this is probably a bad idea for several reasons. One, Twitter might not be happy that you're using a competing social media site's QR code on their site, and secondly, Snapchat might not be happy about it either. There's also the fact that you should have a decent profile picture on your Twitter account. One idea that may work on both Twitter and Facebook is putting your QR code within the background. In Twitter, that means the background that your tweets are sitting on, and on Facebook, you would have to put it in the larger header profile. Just make sure that you aren't being obtrusive so that the social media website doesn't have to complain to you about putting a QR code from a different social network onto their site, which usually they don't. And don't forget to remind people within your social media feeds as well as integrating it into your platform. So how do you measure your success with Snapchat? Knowing whether or not a campaign was successful will depend on coming up with creative ways that you can figure out whether or not something worked. For example, if you did a Snapchat marketing campaign and you asked the users on that platform to do something on a different platform, then it would be very easy to measure your success, or at least the numbers. However, there's more to success than just the numbers, and we'll go into that here. Right, first let's talk about the numbers. Obviously, the numbers are important, but there is a great deal more to be aware of. Before you can get into any of that, however, you need to know the numbers, and so you're going to have to come up with some method of figuring out how many people you reached on Snapchat and how many of them took your call to action and actually follow you through signing up for an email list, posting a tweet with a certain hashtag or whatever particular method that you're using. You can make use of the Snapchat tools that were discussed in the video on analytics as well as your own methods of counting people that have responded. Now let's talk about the demographics. So you're going to have to figure out some way that you can get demographic information from the people that are responding to your marketing campaigns. Demographics are super important when it comes to campaigns because if you know what type of people have responded to a particular product or service or advertising campaign, then you know how to improve it next time. Demographics can be difficult to get, and the best way is probably to go with one of the companies that were discussed in the video on analytics because there really is no way to get that information with your own efforts. Finally, let's talk about user response. The last thing that you want to measure is how the users felt about the particular marketing campaign that you did. You want to know what they thought of the campaign itself, and also you should try to find out whether they were happy to sign up for your mailing list, you know, whether that was because the order was terrific or whether they were on the fence about it. Finding out how users responded to a particular marketing campaign can go a long way in helping you improve future marketing campaigns and get better responses. Snapchat is one of the most interesting social platforms that has come around in a long time. 
The way that it allows users to communicate only through pictures and videos is very interesting, and it will be fascinating to see how the platform develops in the future. Marketing on Snapchat is something that people are starting to do more and more, and companies are spending a significant portion of their marketing budget on speaking to those people who use Snapchat. In this video series, we've gone over some of the reasons that you should use this social media, and even took you through the entire sign-up process so that you can get your account online. We also showed you how to create your QR code, which you'll be able to use on all kinds of things like your website, the wall of your brick and mortar business, other places you decide to put it, you know, like your business cards and even other social media platforms. Some of the highlights of other areas that were discussed in this series include taking you through the process of building stories and showing you how you can get fans by using those stories, as well as how you can get your initial following. There was also a great deal of information on using analytics and how you can use the numbers that Snapchat gives you to measure your own success. You can also use the analytics companies that are out there and promise to give you detailed information about your marketing efforts. Finally, we went over several ways that you can use Snapchat with other social media platforms and things like live events, as well as give you some ideas on how to get followers, like using brand influencers. I hope that the information in this video series will allow you to start using Snapchat and be able to use all of the features successfully without any problems. While there's no guarantee that a marketing campaign on Snapchat will be successful, there must be a reason why so many companies are starting to use Snapchat to do marketing. Since other people have found a great deal of success and companies are spending three quarters of a million dollars a day just to be listed on the platform, odds are good that you'll find success as well.